Right now, I'm in pain. That's the saying, right? No pain, no gain, right? Man, I'm at war with failure every day just to obtain a little success. And you can't tell me that ain't pain. It hurt seeing your mama sit on the edge in that bed and cry almost every night. You can't tell me that ain't pain. It's not easy losing somebody that's close and dear to you. It's not easy jumping off the cliff and knowing that nobody will be able to catch you if you fall. It's not easy if you get knocked down eight times and you're scared to get back up on the ninth. If it's one thing I know, it's to be humble. Cause there's always areas in your life that's gonna need improvement and you're gonna need to do better. Humble yourself, young one. Don't settle, do more. You must look opposition in his face. You must face fear, you must face anxiety, you must face the day because if you do not face the day, then the things that you are supposed to face, you start to become. That's why I don't ask God to make things easier. I ask him to equip me with the tools to overcome any obstacles, any barriers, in any way to ease the pain. Stand up, put your chin up, what you gonna do? Every night, you should sit on the edge of that bed and ask yourself, what areas of my life have I improved in today? I got it out the mud. I started from the bottom. When nobody wanted to support me, when nobody wanted to cheer for me, when everybody told me I needed to go get that nine to five, or everybody told me that it would never work, I will never be a good speaker. Why be normal will never grow. I'll, be, I'll never be able to do things in the community. I'll never be able to go into the schools. They told me that my dream will never become a reality. They told me to be for real. They told me to go work a nine to five and stay there for 20 years so that my family will be able to be successful and taken care of. Measure your success. Long story short, every day you should wake up with a point to prove. Do you know how many people didn't get the opportunity to wake up this morning, young one? Statistics show 6,316 people die an hour. Again, do you know how many people didn't get the opportunity to wake up this morning, young one? Do you know how many people didn't eat this morning? Humble yourself. When you face opposition, you got to be able to come out of that box. You got to be able to adjust. You got to be able to be the person that you were meant to be. I'm not talking to the people that's not supporting you. I'm not talking to the people that's not in your corner, that's standing up and clapping, or the people that's telling you and pushing you and telling you that you can do it. That's not what I'm talking about. I'm talking about the person that you look at in the mirror because the only competition is you. You gotta think about those restless nights, young one. I know I ain't the only one with this testimony. I need you to speak up. Walk with me. We don't need more police killings. No, we don't need that. What we need is more police officers hopping out their vehicles, tossing the rug with the young ones. What we need is more famous celebrities Speaking up about what meaningful recovery means to them. What we need is more fathers stepping back into their sons and daughters lives like my father did when I was 26. 
I'm only 31 right now, young one. I promise our pain will create mental leaders, young one. Our pain will motivate. I'm from a city where they shoot first and ask questions later. I'm from a city where they say that the people in this community will never be able to do anything. Yep, see, I came from the bottom when I was sleeping in the church parking lot and there was nobody there. You see, I came and I got it out the bottom and I came from the bottom and I pulled myself up by my bootstraps and I said, listen, one day I'm gonna handle stuff. One day I'm gonna become the man that I always envisioned for myself. One day I'm going to be the man that nobody thought that I could be. One day I'm going to reinvent the wheel. But see, I didn't reinvent the wheel. I reinvented myself and became who I always thought that I could be. Overcoming adversity, it takes a lot of believing in yourself. And I'm talking believing in yourself even when nobody else believed in you. If it takes me being knocked down one, two, three, four times for me to get my mama out of them projects, come on, man. I'm gonna go get what's mine. I told you. God did not place you on this earth to live in misery. That passion, that drive, that mentality that got me waking up every single day. You ain't gonna outwork me. understand despite your life you're gonna come face to face with adversities you're gonna hit walls you're gonna hit walls that's gonna put you in pain you're gonna hit walls that's gonna make you want to give up you get back up yet you're about to attack the day with some tenacity and you're getting ready to be who you were meant to be because you understand that there's a person on the inside of you that has to come out and that person is getting ready to come out the person that's getting ready to become who you were meant to be the person is getting ready to turn dreams into a reality, you are getting ready to handle stuff. We've been doubted all our lives. How much time do they gotta doubt us before they crown us, young one? You have to be fueled by doubt, young one. 
feel my doubt. That's the way. Humble yourself. Make them feel your pain. And when it's all said and done, young one, we gonna give all the glory to God. There's gonna be times in your life where you're gonna come face to face with adversity. There's gonna be times in your life where you're gonna encounter difficulties and misfortunes. Adversity is inevitable. This is for the kid that's going through some type of opposition or coping with some grief or a person that may have lost someone. This is for you. This is for the person that is facing fear, that is facing anxiety. This is for the person that doesn't know which direction to go in because they're getting pulled a million ways. There's going to be days that you will be knocked down. So the question is, what is it? What is it that stands behind that desire, that passion, that drive to be the best you can be, to strive to be the greatest every single day? This is for that person that may have lost a loved one. This is for that person that may have lost all hope and thinks that it won't get any better. This is for you.